Mira san, konnichiwa. Zamarai Engineer Des. In this uh, video, let us uh, now uh, take a deeper look into uh, playing out of uh, some variable. So let us uh, uh, take a look at what will happen if uh, we really change the uh, we have an idea, but uh, what is the actual? We need the uh, actual competition. Actual competition, not, not the idea. Not the, we are through with the idea. We are through with the explanation. We will have an example of what will would really happen if we use uh, different size of delta x so first we will talk about the effect if uh, we are using forward divided difference uh, when uh, we are going to approximate first derivative by numerical means uh, changing the uh, stepwise uh, value of delta x let us uh, get the experience. We need this experience so that later on we have an insight. Okay, so let us uh, proceed. Again, let us start with the definition of first derivative. So it's defined as uh, first derivative of function is uh, the function of x plus uh, delta x minus uh, the function of x divided by delta x. Wherein we have to take the limit of that as delta x approaches uh, zero. Okay, now our, our uh, representation, graphical representation now is on your monitor, we have x and y and we have what? Curve with the uh, uh, point xi, any point xi uh, on the curve. Okay? And uh, we have the first derivative wherein uh, basically it means a slope. So as you can see, the, the slope, if you use calculus here, is a tangent on that point. Uh, described by xi on the curve. So that is the tangent line. Okay, so let us uh, now uh, review what is the forward divided difference approximation. We already know this. So instead of uh, having the limit, we set delta x to be as small as possible, but finite finite amount. So uh, we say that uh, the derivative, first derivative or the slope of a function x is equal to the function x plus delta x minus uh, fx divided by uh, delta x. So therefore, we have what? Uh, two points. And because of uh, two points, we can describe a slope. What are the two points? That uh, we see, we can see x and x plus delta x. Those are the two points we need. And uh, let us uh, uh, use that points and uh, draw vertical lines up to the curve so that we can uh, we can uh, have an in the intersect. So that uh, intersecting point, that's, that's the uh, point uh, which describe fx and fx plus delta x. So fx plus delta x is the height of the, the function at point x plus delta x. So this height, from this point to this point, if you can measure that, that is the amount 
f x plus delta x. Okay, so if you measure this one from this point, okay, from this point to that point, that is uh, f function of x plus delta x. What about f x? This is our f x from this point to this point. Measure that, and this uh, length or the height and this height are different. So if you can subtract this length to this length, so it will become one. So only this length up to this point, okay? And that is actually from this point to that point is actually the numerator of this uh, rational number. And what is the denominator? The denominator is the value from this point to this point because if you subtract x from x plus delta x the answer is delta x okay so we can easily evaluate this value of the slope or the first derivative so let us uh, use again the example this is a familiar example to us right now because we already used this several times. The uh, velocity of a rocket is given by 200 natural log of quantity 14 times uh, 10 to the fourth power divided by 14 times 10 to the fourth power minus uh, 2100t minus 9.8t wherein t is from 0 to 30 meaning the domain of t is from 0 to 30, including 0 and 30, okay? Where V is given in meter per second and T is given in seconds. Use uh, forward the difference approximation of the first derivative of uh, V to calculate the acceleration at T is equal to 16 seconds. Use a step size of delta T is equal to 2 seconds. So this is actually the same uh, example previously. Exactly the same. So let us uh, recall how uh, we saw this on that uh, previous uh, example. We are using same same example so that we, you can compare. You can compare with another one and you can also check. So you take the derivative of uh, the function of V that is uh, acceleration. The first derivative of uh, function V is acceleration. So also function of uh, time. So as you can see, our uh, important point is time is equal to 16 seconds because that is where that is where our question depends. Calculate the acceleration at uh, that uh, time. So let us proceed. Therefore, delta t is equal to two, and uh, t plus uh, delta t is eighteen. So the, the relevant points now are sixteen seconds and eighteen seconds. So let us uh, evaluate velocity at uh, 18 and velocity at 16. In this type of example, we have to substitute t in this equation. The first equation that you see, at the, the first equation from the top. We substitute uh, 16 as a value of t here. Put uh, 16 and also put 16. Then evaluate. And then afterwards, to solve for uh, B at T is equal to 18. So substitute 18 here and substitute 18. That is uh, valid because uh, 16 and 18 are uh, valid uh, within the valid region because uh, our region is from 0 to 30. Both are uh, inside. The three zone, okay. So we what 
we uh, evaluate uh, velocity at 18 and velocity at 16. We already know this answer because these are uh, evaluated from previous example. So we have, and therefore this one substitute here and this one substitute here. So this one minus this one, that is the numerator divided by two. Okay. And uh, if you do that, the answer would be 30.475. That is the answer. Now, if you can use the uh, calculus by uh, taking the derivative of the given function. So this is the given function. So take the derivative. So this is the derivative. So substitute the value of 16 so that we can find out the value of acceleration at 16. So 16 here, 16 here, replacing the variable t. So if you do that, the answer would be 29.674. That is the true value. Okay, 29.674. So therefore, what can you say about our answer? Which is, uh, we already know about this 30.475. Well, it is uh, near. Less than one meter per second is the difference. Ah, yes, it, less than one meter per second squared is the difference. Okay. Uh, if you actually calculate the absolute relative to error, that is only 2.7, about 2.7%. So less than. Uh, 3%. This is uh, already solved from the previous sample. But now we solve this, review this, find this out again, explain this again. But this time we have another thing to do. Okay? We have another thing to do. What if, what if our apex is equal to 9 e to the exponent 4x, okay, different value for x. So this is uh, not the velocity of a rocket. Our uh, common problem, usual problem is velocity of the rocket given by some equation. If not, the equation of uh, uh, velocity of the rocket is here. 2000 natural log of this quantity minus this term 9.8 uh, times t okay uh, there are two terms one and two now but now we are given fx to be equal to nine e e is an engineering constant equal to approximately 2.7172 okay so that e have to be raised to 4x. So we can take the derivative of that. And therefore, we can also take the, <laughs> the uh, approximate numerical derivative of that. Okay. Let us, uh, in this example, use 0 0.05. <laughs> Excuse. 0 0.05 is our h. h is what we call delta x. So that is delta x. So that is our initial value for delta x. What do you think of the shape of the function? <coughs> Excuse. The function is 9e to the power 4x. Okay. That is okay, sorry about that. That is 
a function which is increasing. Okay, that is increasing from uh, zero, uh, not from zero, because uh, if x is zero, the value of the function is nine. Pro. So from nine, the uh, y-intercept is nine. Okay, so from nine, going up. Okay, that is the shape of this graph. <laughs> ah, yeah. So, ah. and uh, the question is value of the slope or the first derivative at x is equal to point two using forward difference method that is the the uh, requirement so we need to solve so by uh, by substituting point two to the value of x we can we can we can evaluate the function so substitute point two to the x so point two what 0.2 times 4, that is uh, 0.8. So e, so e to the 0.8 times 9. So that is what? Using your calculator, use your calculator. If you do that, how to do that? How to do that? I will, I will, uh, I will uh, show you how to do that. Okay, let me show you how to do that because we have an actual example here. So let me show you. So I will open a calculator. So now our function is nine. Please write, please write, please write it. Nine e to the four x is our function. And our value of x is point two because we are uh, considering finding the slope at point two x x is equal to point two so therefore let me share to you my calculator okay so can you see my calculator okay so therefore, let us press nine. Okay, nine here, nine. So nine times e. So let us look for the e here. So e is a colored red. So we need shift because we need e. Raised to the four x, we know the value of uh -huh. we know the value of we know the value of x because here x is point two. Okay, x is point two. So four times point two. So this is how you evaluate this okay so if you evaluate that uh, the answer would be uh, uh, that is the value of the function that is not the value of the that is not the value of the slope so that is the value of the function, 20.03. Now, let us uh, go to the value of the slope. So here, uh, if you can see from our uh, required, we are looking at the slope, the first derivative, not the value of the function. So, so let us uh, have the 
this is how to use your calculator. I will show you how to find out the value of this log. Okay, so let us uh, 